We go back to the Ohio International Pageants today, and we have some great special guests. We have Brittany Grigorczyk, she's Mrs. Columbus International 2017. Jessica Nelson Masker, Mrs. Glass City International. And we have Laura Beeson, she's Mrs. Crawford County International 2017. All today on the Pageant Cast. Welcome to the Pageant Cast, your home for beauty pageant news and interviews on the internet. Hi, I'm Janice McQueen Ward, and you are watching the Pageant Cast, the internet's first podcast about beauty pageants. Here's your host, Tim Crutchman. You're watching the pageant cast, and we're here in Ohio for the Ohio International Pageants. I'm here with Brittany, and she was just telling me about the Ohio International Pageants. Hello, Brittany. Hello. How are you doing? I am doing great. How are you? Fantastic. Now, what is the area that you're... Columbus, Ohio? Where is it in the state? It is dead center Ohio, so central Ohio. So where are we now? We're just a little north, right? Right, yeah, a little bit more toward Michigan. You guys just did your interview. Did you have uh, good interviews in there? Oh, it was wonderful. Best pageant interview I think I've ever had. Well, she led me into that way. Have you had some other past pageants that you've competed in? I have. It's been a while, but I've competed in U uh, USA System. So, yeah, I've had some experience. So what is it that draws you to pageants? I love competing. I, when I'm on a stage, I feel like I could fly, and it's fun. It's, you can promote your platform, and you meet some wonderful people who become your friends. Well, let's ask you about that platform. What is your platform? My platform is Shared Hope International, um, specifically human trafficking legislation. So I am an aspiring prosecutor, and as an aspiring prosecutor, I am bringing awareness and change in legislation to Ohio and um, to the country because a lot of people do not know that human trafficking is a huge problem in the country, and Ohio ranks fifth in the nation for human trafficking cases. Really? I think of prosecutors, I'm thinking of all sorts of TV lawyers, so I'm going to ask you, who's your favorite TV lawyer? Matt Locke, and I know he's, oh, not a, I, yes. I know he's not a prosecutor, he's a defense attorney, but he, he helps the people who are convicted wrongfully, and he's really funny too. So. Well, and there's not many prosecutors that have their own show. When you think about them, they're mostly defense attorneys because somebody's been wrongfully accused. Okay, well, thank you so much. Thank now, you. I need to see your best pageant wave. Let's see this pageant wave here. Okay, it watch it. See that? She almost took me out there. You see that? <laughs> All right. Fantastic. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. We wish you the best of luck and success. Thank you so much. You're watching the pageant cast, and we're here at Ohio International, just outside of Toledo, Ohio. And uh, why don't you tell everybody your name and where you're coming from? My name is Jessica Nelson Massacre, and I am from Toledo, Ohio. Tell us a little bit about your platform. Um, my platform is Pets, promoting education, training, and safety. It's teaching young children about the responsibilities of owning a pet, about safety around pets, and anything else that you can think of dealing with animals and educating them on different kinds of animals. Um, I have sugar gliders that I will take to education programs. Wait, what are sugar gliders? <laughs> um, I don't like using the term, but everybody always see, sees them as flying squirrels. Okay. Yep, so I like to educate the children on them as well and getting them used to something different. I never heard sugar glider. I've, I've heard squirrel glider because they obviously don't fly. Yeah. They, they hang glide. Pretty much. They yeah. glide. Yeah. yeah. And they love sweets. And I heard Lara Croft does this as well. Oh, does she? Yeah, she has oh. one of those suits. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, it was it was a thing. Yeah, with the Lara. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Now, with um, pets, do you own a lot of pets yourself? or? 
actually, yes, I do. Um, you will probably be in shock that I have okay. 10 dogs, three cats, and 10 sugar gliders. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now, I was a fish guy, and as a kid, I had a parakeet. Yeah. Now, parakeets are a problem. I don't know if you've ever never dealt with this. Nope. They're, they're, they're emotionally disrupt creatures. They're crazy, and they throw seeds wherever you just picked up. Well, sugar gliders are kind of the same, um, and they're up at night. So they like to bark at you, which is like sounds exactly what it says. It's a bark. Mm -hmm. And that means like, hey, hello, pay attention to me, play with me. And it's like, I'm sleeping. Go away. So, yeah, they're kind of the same, and they like to throw their food. Um, I've actually had an experience with one of them where, because they like sweet foods, they like apples, grapes. I tried giving them mango, and they did not like it, and they threw it back at me. Well, that is not very nice. I know, right? Yeah, they, they do. You, can you train a sugar glider? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. Uh, my sugar glider I've had the longest. I've been able to train her to come to me. Um, not always on command because sometimes she gets a little shy, mm -hmm. but she's pretty good about coming to me when I ask her to. Oh, that's fantastic. I had no idea that that was a pet choice that yep. you could have those. Yep. There are some states though that do not allow it. It's considered an exotic, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. Okay. So um, oh, what do they eat? Um, I actually have to buy a specific hard pellet food for them online, and it's actually through Pre Arena. Mm -hmm. And um, it's called Missouri Insectivore Diet because technically they are insectivores. Okay. Um, and then they can get lots of good treats like yogurt bites and, you know, little dried bananas and blueberries. I actually have an all white glider, and whenever he eats a blueberry, he turns blue. <laughs> <laughs> Because he gets the blueberry all over him. Okay, well, that's great. So uh, tell us what got you interested in Ohio International? I got interested in, um, kind of like all the other girls, uh, Jerry contacted me and wanted to know if I'd be interested in competing in the Mrs. program. I wasn't so sure in the beginning just because, you know, I've been out of the pageant system for a while mm -hmm. when I competed as a Miss. Um, and then I decided, you know what, why not? Like, I have the support system and I love competing. I love being in pageants. I love, you know, showcasing my platform. So I wanted to go for it. Well, it's certainly a fun platform as well. Fantastic. Now, what we like to do at the end of our interviews is see your best pageant wave. So can you provide us with a great pageant wave? Wow, these are the pros. That, that, that's a pro one right there. Now, if you're trying to swim with that maneuver, you're going to sink like a stone. But it's a perfectly good wave. Thank you so much. We wish you the best of luck and success. Thank you very much. To your dreams. You're watching the pageant cast. We're in Ohio, and uh, who am I talking to? Laura Beeson, Mrs. Crawford County. Thank you, and uh, now I have to ask you, where's Crawford County? Uh, we're north central Ohio, rural farmland. Okay, what do you say to people that say Ohio is the center of the universe? Well, I don't know if it's the center of the universe, but it's a pretty good place to live and, you know, have our families. No, honestly, they have looked into it, and it is the center of the universe, the entirety of... No, I'm making this up. <laughs> I'm completely <laughs> lying, but it, well, it's what I've heard before. Okay, I was going to research it, okay? Well, yeah. I wouldn't have just believed you. <laughs> so, tell me, what got you interested in pageants? I've actually never done a pageant before. I heard about this Mrs. Ohio International pageant a couple years ago and I just thought it seemed like a fun opportunity and the more I researched about it the more interested I was and liked what I saw so I took the leap. What was it about it that attracted you? I really like how it's about promoting a platform, something that you're passionate about, something that you want to make sure that others hear and know about. So tell me, what is your platform? My platform is called the Couple to Couple League. It's an international organization made up of volunteer teaching couples, like my husband and myself. We are professionally trained to teach couples natural family planning. And uh, so we teach from couple to couple, 
and we teach the symptothermal method. Okay, what is that? Okay, so it's basically helping women know how to read the bodily signs of their fertility, and so they can know when they're fertile and infertile. You can use it to postpone or achieve pregnancy, and it has a 99% effectiveness rate. Okay, now before the interview, you admitted to me that you sometimes giggle a little mm -hmm. bit. What do you do when you're teaching this and you end up with like somebody that's got the mentality of Beavis and Butthead that just starts laughing at everything? Um, well, first of all, you should meet my husband. <laughs> and, <laughs> and when we teach the class, sometimes we have those laughable moments. But life is funny, and life as a couple is funny, and learning about natural family planning is funny. And so if you can do it with a smile and be able to laugh, it's okay. That's, that's a part of life. Uh, tell me there's a lot of different phases of competition. What's your favorite? Well, I haven't experienced all of them yet, but... Oh, uh, this is your first, yes. first, first ever. Yes. Okay. Yes. What are you looking forward to, then? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, really, so far, just getting to meet all the other women, and they're all beautiful, of course, and really nice to talk with, and I really have enjoyed learning about their platforms and hearing what they have to say about them. All right, we're coming to the end of our interview. It's time to see your best pageant wave. Now, you're a first-timer, so you go right ahead. Yeah. You don't have to do the traditional. You can do however you feel comfortable. Okay. okay, my normal wave is this. And there's nothing wrong with that. No, there really is. We, we need to <laughs> no, it's great. That's fantastic. Learn, right? Thanks so much. No, it's actually just fine. I've seen so many different waves. It's, it's unbelievable, but... Thank you so much. Thank you. Wish you the best of luck and success. Thank you very much. And Tiara Dreams. Thank you. Submitting material to the pageant cast is as easy as one, two, three. Come up with an idea. We know you have some. An appearance? A crowning? Record a brief video on your phone or webcam and remember to include your title and name. Send it to submit at pageantcast.com. Videos are best, as we are a video show after all, but we do take photos and stories. Get yours in now before the competition for space gets too big. We want your submissions. You. It's as easy as one, two, three.